Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to another episode of our journey to success. This week we're embarking on a captivating adventure to Malacca, a city in Malaysia that's not just a destination but a living museum filled with history, culture and an enduring spirit. Malacca, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a tapestry of multicultural influences, weaving together its rich past with the vibrancy of the present. Once a thriving port, it has witnessed the ebb and flow of empires, from the Sultanate of Malacca to Portuguese, Dutch and British rule. As we stroll through its historical streets, Join us in uncovering the Islamic heritage that's deeply rooted in this city and explore how Malacca continues to be a beacon of harmony and diversity, from its majestic mosques to the multicultural Harmony Street. Every corner of Malacca tells a story. So stay with us as we delve into the enchanting heart of Malacca, discovering its hidden gems and basking in the warmth of its hospitality. This is more than just a journey. It's a journey back in time, where every path leads to a new discovery. Welcome to Malacca, where history and culture come alive. <laughs> Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Subhanallah, thee sakkar lana hada wa ma kunna lahu mukrinin wa inna ila rabbina lamun kalibun. Sadaqullah alabim. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our journey to success. <laughs> Our journey to success. Although that sounded like an Emirates flight. That's what it's supposed to be. Well done, Desi. Please fasten your seatbelts. Salamat pagi from another sunny day in Malaysia. Um, we are on the way to Malacca. Ka, ka, ka. We're so excited. Um, we have been dying to get out of KL. Um, we love it, but we've explored the city a lot and we're really really excited to see um, what else Malaysia has to offer. As we set out on our journey to Malacca, the roads ahead unfold like a welcoming ribbon, guiding us through the heart of Malaysia's stunning landscapes. The impressive motorways lined with lush greenery and open skies along with the familiarity of driving on the left brings a slice of Britain into our Malaysian adventure, blending the comfort of home with the thrill of exploration. So this is a Malaysian service station. Even the service stations look so tropical. Look at those palm trees. I know. Beautiful. Let's go and explore. So we have just stopped at our first Malaysian service station. Yeah, so um, excited. I'm going to have to show you around quickly. Oh, the sun is out. The weather is beautiful. All right, let's have a look. So you have all of these food places. Just great, um, and a lot of like really natural food, good, healthy food. We have arrived in Malacca. 
Assalamu alaikum. So we are in Malacca. We just stopped to pray Dhuhr at this beautiful mosque. Mashallah, the barakallah. Beautiful. So far, really impressed with Malacca. Our arrival in Malacca is marked by a tranquil stop at Masjid El Hassan, Bukit Baru. Nestled in the embrace of Malacca's serene landscapes, this mosque stands as a symbol of spiritual sanctuary. As we offer our Duhr prayers, surrounded by the mosque's peaceful aura, we're reminded of the timeless bond between faith and journey. After our time at the mosque, and our hearts filled with thankfulness and minds at peace, we journeyed back to our car to continue the last part of our drive to the hotel, ready to check in and delve into the vibrant tapestry of this historic city. As we step into the welcoming embrace of the Double Tree by Hilton Malacca, we're greeted with the warm smiles and courteous service that Malaysia is renowned for. Our booking, a simple king room, is delightfully transformed into an elegant one-bedroom suite. A generous nod to our diamond status at Hilton. Our suite unfolds in a tapestry of luxury. A spacious and cosy living room, a dining area, a sleek office space, and a bedroom leading to a vast bathroom with an inviting round bath. Each corner offers a view that captures the essence of Malacca. The vibrant cityscape and the calming sea. In our suite, surprises await. A decadent array of desserts, a basket brimming with fresh fruits, and a charming towel origami, a traditional Malay couple symbolizing the rich culture that surrounds us. After checking in and exploring our majestic suite, we made our way to the Axis Lounge for a complimentary afternoon tea, a privilege of our diamond status with Hilton. The Axis Lounge is a perfect retreat to unwind and relax. It's an oasis of calm after our journey, offering a moment to breathe in the luxury that Hilton is known for. As we savour each bite of the delightful sandwiches and sweets, we're enveloped in the comfort and luxury that's become synonymous with our Hilton stays in Malaysia. Each sip of coffee and tonic water reminds us of the serene pleasures of travel and the joy of discovering new places. Assalamu alaikum and we have arrived in not so sunny Malacca. Malacca. The drive down was really sunny. Um, it's a little bit overcast now. It looks like it's going to rain, but hey, no complaints from us. The weather's still warm. Beats being in the cold in the UK. That's Sorry, very guys. true. <laughs> uh, we have checked in to the Double Tree Hilton and they have kindly upgraded us to this beautiful one bedroom suite, which is just amazing it's so nice to have the space with the baby it's fantastic um and yeah no we're excited we're gonna head into um malacca central yeah. no we're gonna go out and explore now our exploration of malacca begins with a stroll along the vibrant river walk the ease of getting here just a short and affordable grab ride away opens the doors to the heart of this historical city. As we meander along the river, the cafes and restaurants lining the sidewalks 
beckon with their inviting aromas and lively decor. Each ornate bridge we cross is a gateway to Malacca's rich past. Its architecture a canvas showcasing centuries of history. Malacca, a city etched in the annals of history, was once a thriving trading port, drawing merchants from around the world. Its strategic position on the maritime Silk Route turned it into a melting pot of cultures and influences. The legacy of this vibrant past is still palpable in the air, the buildings, and the multicultural spirit of the streets. As we soak in the ambience of the River Walk, it's like stepping through the pages of history, each step a journey through time. The stories etched in the facades of the building and the rhythm of the river whisper tales of a bygone era, a testament to Malacca's enduring charm. Stepping onto Harmony Street, we're immediately struck by this appropriate nickname. Here, the coexistence of diverse religions isn't just a concept. It's a living, breathing reality. This street is a beautiful mosaic of Malaysia's religious diversity, each place of worship a vibrant piece of this harmonious puzzle. On this single stretch, we find the serene Kampung Kling Mosque. Standing in harmony with the Sri Payotha Vinega Murthy Temple. The Sheng Hoon Teng Temple. And the Jiang Lin Si Temple. It's a powerful physical representation of Malaysia's commitment to religious freedom and mutual respect. Amidst the cultural diversity of Harmony Street stands the Kampung Kling Masjid, a beacon of Islamic heritage in Malacca. Established in 1748 by Indian Muslim traders, this mosque embodies a rich blend of architectural influences. Unlike typical mosques with spherical domes, Kampong Kling Masjid features a striking, triple-tiered green pyramidal roof atop its main building. This unconventional design merges various architectural styles from the local Malay to the exotic Middle Eastern. The mosque's minaret, reminiscent of a Chinese pagoda, adds to its unique aesthetic this fascinating fusion of styles, the Islamic artistry blended with Chinese, Sumatran, and even European influences, makes Kampung Kling Masjid a true embodiment of Malacca's multicultural spirit. As we explore the serene interiors, we're captivated by the harmonious blend of cultures that Kampung Kling Masjid represents. Its existence since the mid 18th century not only marks it as a historical landmark, but also as a testament to the enduring spirit of unity and diversity in Malacca. As we meandered through Harmony Street, a delightful discovery awaited us. Raza Kashmir travelers, nestled among the mosaic of cultural landmarks, this quaint shop stood out with its vibrant array of handcrafted items. Raza Kashmir Travellers is more than just a shop. It's a celebration of art and craftsmanship. From vivid scarves to self-designed necklaces adorned with real stones, each piece here tells a story. The stunning Kashmir design clothing brings a touch of exotic beauty to the multicultural tapestry of Malacca. Harmony Street isn't just a road in Malacca, 
It's a symbol of Malaysia's multicultural identity. It's a reminder that despite our differences, we can coexist peacefully and respect one another's beliefs. As we walk through this street, it feels like a journey through Malaysia's soul, one that celebrates diversity and fosters unity. Leaving the multicultural embrace of Harmony Street, we ventured towards another historical gem of Malacca, the renowned Jonker Street. This shift from one iconic street to another felt like a seamless journey through Malacca's rich tapestry of cultures. Jonker Street, the pulsating heart of Malacca's Chinatown, welcomed us with its vibrant energy. Known for its antique stores and diverse array of shops, each step on this street felt like a stroll through history. The Chinese influence was unmistakable, reflected in the street's traditional lanterns and the distinct architectural style of its buildings. It's a place where history is not just remembered, but vividly alive and celebrated. Today, Jonker Street is more than just a historical site. It's a bustling hub of modern activities. By day, it's a haven for shoppers and explorers, whilst at night, it transforms into a lively market where the scents of delicious street food fill the air and the sounds of local musicians create a festive atmosphere. Finally, our day concluded with a delightful dinner by the river at a quaint Malay fish restaurant. Here we embraced the local flavors, trying stingray curry for the first time. The dish, rich in spices and perfectly cooked, was accompanied by aromatic rice, tender beef, and a variety of other fish delicacies. It was a fitting end to a day full of exploration and cultural immersion. As the evening drew to a close, we retraced our steps, filled with the day's memories. The experiences of Jonker Street, from its historical roots to its lively present, left us enriched and eager for more. With hearts and minds full of Malacca's charm, we headed back to rest, already anticipating the adventures of the next day in this captivating city. Selamat pagi. Good morning from Malacca. We have come down for breakfast. It's starving and it looks amazing. It really does. Excited. Let's go. Very excited, yeah. Okay. So I got, this is called a vegetable korma, I think, it may be South Indian because they recommended the roti chanai, it's got vegetables in it and I also went for some Chinese noodles and some vegetables. So this was so good that I had to get a second portion. <laughs> The veg is, I'm, I normally wouldn't have this for breakfast, would I? Normally have eggs. No. I'm quite a standard breakfast. Yeah. Typical British man. I wanted to try something a bit different, so. Um, but then it's got these really crunchy vegetables, which are just delicious. Mmm. And I'm not a big fan of cauliflower, but. 
that cornflour is so crispy, so good. Like, you just get a bit of soup or broccoli on there. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. And this is healthy, right? Yeah. I mean, that's super vegetables. <laughs> Diet. This is so good. I think I may have discovered a new breakfast here. Well, a new breakfast for me. So, this here is called Anak Kek, which says breakfast cake. Yeah, it's all right. Um, this was under croissant, so perhaps yeah, it's a Malaysian style croissant. So good. And this here, as we know, is it's the local yeah. Malaysian dessert. I mean, I love these things. What they're, are these called? If anybody knows what these are called. Yeah, they're, they're, they're just, they're, I don't know, but they're just, it's like, it's like a jelly texture, yeah. but it's stronger than jelly because it won't fall apart. But, so it's milk based, right? It's, it's made with coconut milk, okay. Yeah, but it's so good. I mean, they have these in different colors, different styles, shapes, but mm, this one left. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Maybe rice milk. So mm. good though. Let's try this one. So this, I'm not sure what this one's called, but as I said, it was under the bus on section. It's almost it's like a it? yellowy. Right. Mm. Also really nice, really moist. It's not dry bread. So it's not a croissant. So it's, it's almost similar to this, but without the jelly texture. Just shimmer right now. And now let's try this, which is the Anika Kick. Oh, really nice. So, Breakfast cake. It just looks like a a marble marble cake. Hmm. Nice. Like a marble cake. Hmm. Bagus. After a delightful breakfast. We started our historical exploration of Malacca with the remnants of Afumosa Fort, standing as a stark reminder of Portugal's oppressive colonial past and their maritime conquests in Southeast Asia. Constructed in 1511, this fortification symbolizes the aggressive expansion of the Portuguese Empire and their control over the region's rich resources. Afamosa was not just a military stronghold, but also a tool for subjugating local populations and dominating the spice trade. As we walk through what's left of this structure, we reflect on the turbulent colonial history and the resilience of the local communities. What remains today is a fragment of the original fort, a physical embodiment of the eventual decline of colonial empires. In the 17th century, the Dutch seized control of Malacca and repurposed the fort. The fort's history under Dutch control and its eventual partial destruction by the British are reflections of the constant power struggles in the region. Next, we visited the Church of St. Paul Perched on top of St. Paul's Hill, the church echoes the stories of Malacca under Portuguese and Dutch rule. Originally built in 1521 as a chapel, the church has witnessed significant transformations over centuries, paralleling the shifts in colonial powers. The Church of St. Paul has witnessed numerous transitions, from its beginnings as a simple chapel to becoming a significant landmark under Dutch and then British rule. 
Its walls echo the stories of its past, from being a flourishing church to being repurposed as a fortress and eventually a museum. Standing amidst its ruins, one can sense the echoes of a past marred by colonial struggles, yet resilient in its own history. The panoramic views from the hill provide a contemplative backdrop to reflect on the impact of colonialism on Malacca's cultural landscape. A stone's throw away from the Church of St. Paul lies the Malacca Sultanate Palace, a replica of the 15th century palace of Sultan Mansur Shah. This museum allows us to delve into the history of the Malacca Sultanate, once a powerful and independent maritime empire in Southeast Asia. The palace showcases over 1,300 artifacts, revealing the opulence and cultural richness of the Sultanate before the arrival of European colonial powers. Our visit to the palace is a journey back to a time when Malacca was a flourishing centre of trade and Islamic learning, long before colonial subjugation. The Sultanate Palace is more than just a museum. It's a symbol of the rich Malay heritage that predates colonial rule. As we explore the replica of this once magnificent palace, we're reminded of a period when Malacca was a proud and independent kingdom. Our historic exploration in Malacca then brings us to the iconic Dutch square, known for its picturesque red painted buildings and the Christ Church. Dutch square with its characteristic red buildings is a living memory of Dutch colonization in Malacca, contrasting starkly with the earlier Portuguese rule. While it's now a vibrant part of Malacca cityscape, the square is a constant reminder of the Dutch era's imposition and control. The square with its red painted edifices is a stark contrast to the earlier Portuguese architecture and reflects the administrative and religious control the Dutch exerted with their rule. Christchurch, a prominent feature of the square, stands as a symbol of the forced cultural changes and religious influences brought by the Dutch. Today, Dutch Square is a vibrant meeting point for locals and tourists alike, bustling with activity from trishore rides to street vendors selling local crafts. As we wander through the square, we're acutely aware of how these colonial structures have been integrated into the present day city. A reminder of a complex and often oppressive past. Later in the day, we find ourselves at the Malacca Straits Mosque a remarkable structure that seems to float on the bustling strait of Malacca. Built on stilts above the sea, the mosque's majestic presence is a harmonious blend of modern and traditional architectural influences, reflecting Malacca's rich Islamic heritage. The mosque's design is a fascinating fusion of Middle Eastern influences with a local Sino-vernacular eclectic style, symbolizing Malacca's journey from a historic sultanate to a modern UNESCO World Heritage City. At high tide, the mosque appears as if it's floating, creating an ethereal atmosphere that's both captivating and serene especially during sunrise or sunset. More than just an architectural marvel, the Malacca Straits Mosque stands 
as a testament to the region's commitment to advancing modern Islam while honouring its historical roots. This floating mosque is not only a place of worship, but also a symbol of Malacca's enduring spirit, bridging the past and the present. After a long day filled with exploration and wonder, we return to the comfort of our hotel, the Doubletree by Hilton Malacca. The tranquility of our suite with its panoramic city and sea views offers the perfect respite after our immersive journey through Malacca's streets and its history. Our evening unwinds with a delightful room service meal featuring local favourites like a nasi goreng and chicken rice, culminating our day with the flavours of Malaysia. As we enjoy our meal, we reflect on the day's experiences, from the serene moments at the Malacca Straits Mosque to the vibrant energy of Malacca's historic sites. Once again, the service at the Makan kitchen was impeccable, and after enjoying another delightful breakfast, we eagerly set out to experience the spiritual serenity of Jummah prayers at Masjid Al Azim. Masjid Al Azim, Malacca's state mosque, stands as a beacon of Islamic tradition and architectural grandeur, located just a few kilometres from Malacca city. As we joined the congregation, the mosque's vast prayer hall, capable of accommodating thousands, enveloped us in a sense of unity and serenity. After completing our Jummah prayers, we then started our journey back to Kuala Lumpur, deciding to take a slight detour through Port Dixon a tranquil beach resort known for its serene coastline and family-friendly atmosphere. Port Dixon, with its rich history, transitioning from a small fishing village to a popular beach destination, showcases Malaysia's resilience and charm. Strolling along the secluded beaches of Port Dixon, we were embraced by its peaceful environment where families enjoyed the calm and safety of the area. The visit to Port Dixon offered us a chance to witness the harmonious blend of natural beauty and cultural richness that defines Malaysia. Our last stop before returning to Kuala Lumpur was the stunning Masjid Kariya Telok Kemang, nestled on a hilltop with panoramic views of the Port Dixon coastline. Established in 1994, the mosque stands as a symbol of community and faith, with its architecture harmoniously blending with the surrounding natural landscape. Our visit to the masjid concluded our exploration of Malacca and its surroundings, leaving us with a profound insight into Malaysia's Islamic heritage and its vibrant, harmonious communities. As we drove back to Kuala Lumpur, the memories of Malacca and Port Dixon lingered with us. From the historical depths of Malacca streets to the serene shores of Port Dixon, our journey was a testament to Malaysia's diverse beauty and its people's warm hospitality. joining us on this incredible journey through Malacca. Your support always means the world to us. From historical sites to spiritual moments at Masjid Al-Azim, it's been a journey of discovery and reflection. 
We've loved sharing every single moment with you and your comments, likes and shares keep our adventures going. As we bid farewell to Malacca, we're reminded of the enduring beauty of Islam and the rich tapestry of Malaysia's heritage. And as always, we're excited for what's next and we hope that you are too. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Please keep us in your prayers as we keep you in ours. And as always, we look forward to more exciting adventures together. Assalamu alaikum and peace from our little family to yours. Can't wait to see you in the next one.